How's everybody doing tonight? My name is Ron. I'm the host of this show. And this is a channel you don't have to subscribe to. You don't have to hit the like button. The notification bell. I do this every day. And I definitely won't ask you for any money. Simply a good place to come and hang out, calm the mind, get a little devotional in, give you something to think about meditating on. Yeah. So, the devotional tonight is uh, one of the shortest I've run into so far. So let's get at it. Coming to you from Isaiah chapter 26. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. That's powerful. Let me, let me just read that one more time. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. All those... <sighs> all those whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always. For the Lord God is the eternal rock. Okay. Let's get a little context from our daily bread. Spotting God. A pirouette is a graceful spin that executed by ballerinas and contemporary dancers alike. As a child, I loved to do pirouettes in my modern dance class, whirling round and round until I was dizzy in the head and fell to the ground. As I got older, a trick I learned to help maintain my balance and control was spotting. Identifying a single point for my eyes to return to each time I made a full circle spin. Having a single focal point was all I needed to master my pirouette with a graceful finish. We all face many twists and turns in life. When we focus on our problems, however, the things we encounter seem unmanageable, leaving us dizzy and heading towards a disastrous fall. The Bible reminds us that if we keep our minds steadfast and focused on God, He'll keep us in perfect peace. Perfect peace means that no matter how many turns life takes, we can remain calm, assured that God will be with us through our problems and trials. He's the rock eternal, the ultimate spot to fix our eyes on, because his promises never change. May we keep our eyes on him as we go through each day, going to him in prayer, and studying his promises in the scriptures. May we rely on God, our eternal rock, to help us move gracefully through all of life. Dear Heavenly Father, forgive me for focusing on the problems I face each day. I know you've conquered the world and remain bigger than my trials. Help me to turn my eyes and heart to you in every circumstance. Amen. Amen. Okay. A little bit of a commentary to go along with that tonight. I've entitled it, What's Your Focus? I was going to start this commentary with, in today's society, 
we seem to focus on our problems. But in reality, this goes back to biblical times when the Israelites were captives in, captives in Egypt. They complained while they were in Egypt. And then right away they began complaining when they were out of Egypt, freed in the, in the desert. We all, myself included, seem to focus on things that are wrong instead of things that are right. It became blatantly obvious to me this winter here in Saskatchewan, we've had an unusually mild winter. And every time I say to someone, oh, what a nice day we're having, I get the same response. Oh, yeah, but we're going to pay for it. Why does something bad have to accompany something good? <laughs> Go figure. Uh, here's another little scenario. And this applies mostly to my farmer friends. Last year, we had a ton of snow. And I would say that it's going to be good for seeding. They say, oh, yeah, that spring thaw will just run off. We need timely rains in the spring to start the crops off. Okay. Then this year, we have very little snow cover. And the very same farmers that I talk to will say, oh, the seed might not germinate without, without that snow melt this spring. And then if there is a bumper crop, then, oh yeah, it won't be worth anything because there will be so much around. <laughs> Uh, sorry for picking on you, my, on my farmer friends. But why do we say, why do we naturally gravitate to the negative? There's something for you to meditate on. Good things, not bad things. The word for today is inexorable. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.